um, this horse could could attack her and have nerve damage probably for life, and that bite could have killed her. I know what he's capable of. This horse should be euthanized. Andrea's be now become frightened of being frightened, by her own words. That's it. So five, that's what we're going to do. Five and a half hour run. Yeah. A uh, horse, it looks like I've seen a little clip of it. I think it's really, it's really not, not going well, um, the relationship. Uh, the horse is biting her, pushing her. So what you've just witnessed there is Andrea's horse attacking her in the stable, okay? Uh, there are a couple of other videos. I'll just show you one other clip now, and then I'll explain what's been going on. Here's some clips. These are those clips, guys. This is after the attack in the stables. This is after the attack, and Andrea knew she needed to do some groundwork and, you know, basically try and find out what, what's going on with her new horse. Um, and you can see here, there's absolutely, I don't know what to call it really, no respect at all. He's kind of threatening, but as you saw in the attack, it's as if any second that, um, this horse could could attack her and, and, and do even more damage. Uh, so there you go. It's not very good. It's all on a course for disaster. Um, yeah. Just someone trying to do their best, guys. Uh, and obviously there's children around as well, which is not a good mix for a horse like this. Oh, dreadful. Yeah, it's just seconds away, isn't it? You can see it's uh, any minute that Andrew could be uh, attacked again here. Maybe. It doesn't look great, so we're gonna go and spend an afternoon see where we can get, see how we can help at all. Wow. wow. Look, there's a big cover on a round pen over there. Really? Is that, that's what you wanted, look. Oh my God, right. Remember, when we come... And if you notice, guys, that's our round school there, and it's about the same size, so that would be absolutely ideal for that round pen, and I've left a message for them to ring back and to sort out how much these things cost. And that's that our little bit of heaven there, guys. You can see where we live there, look. Yeah, this is the drone footage we were sent, guys. Fantastic look. And that's it there. That's our riverside ranch that we built ourselves. It's a beautiful place for horses. Uh, what is it? A castle? Chateau. Chateau of some sort. Well, I'm about to start work for the first time with this horse now, guys. I must admit, Tanya she didn't feel great about the whole thing to be honest um on the way up with the little videos and things she said steve i don't feel great about this can you be really careful so tanya was worried about it guys yeah which way is that I round now all oh, right so you've got the steps here Okay. Now I know what he's capable of. So that's why I said to you very quickly, we're going to establish some guidelines. Now, I've done a little list here. I need to explain a few things now about the whole situation. So everyone's aware. Now I'll start off by explaining about Andrea and her family. We have never been, we was looked after so incredibly well. We stayed overnight. Um, they've got a beautiful house that they built with their bare hands, guys. I mean, they, they, the amount of work they put into the house and uh, and that they put their heart and soul into the house and it's beautiful. And what we need to know is, and she's got two other horses, lovely horse, she's got a mare and a little pony and they're lovely, respectful horses. She's done nothing but good with them. 
not had a problem at all and um andrea rides really 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 well she rides dressage she loves dressage and that's why this horse came right, about and this is the beautiful andrea and her horse now this particular horse is very 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 well bred a dressage horse from brilliant dressage breeding and the horse came from germany now andrea didn't just order online like a lot of us have she made the trip to germany and went with people who know know what they're doing know what they're looking at and the horse seemed fine it was a little bit fresh but seemed fine for the age i think it's only it's about a five-year-old that horse is it's not uh... tanya is that a horse five it's five maybe five or six uh, so it's a youngster um and the horse was bought and had all the vet checking and everything done properly as it should be then the horse was delivered, guys. The horse was delivered over, didn't go straight to Andrea's, and she thought it'd be a good idea to go to her trainer and have a little time there, a little bit of bringing on. When the horse was delivered, the trainer said, better, better come down here because things aren't as they were. Different horse, several people said it. It wasn't like the same horse that they'd gone to see, although obviously it is the same horse. Uh, Guys, the horse was aggressive. You couldn't even, things like picking the feet up. All, complete change. The horse was, no, who knows what happened? Who knows if the horse was drugged in some way? Whatever, it's, there's no way of telling that. But it was a different horse. And it was generally decided that the horse would go home to Andrea and maybe try and get to the bottom of it somehow. You know, maybe the horse wanted a break, a rest after being broke to ride and and trained. So that was decided. The horse went home, and that's when pretty soon the attack, the attack happened. That's this attack, and I'll just show you very quickly again. Don't look if you don't want to. Of course, Andrea was injured. While she was injured, her husband and I think a couple of other people kind of helped with the horse. Her, her husband very quickly got damaged by that horse as well. Um, you know when a horse, because uh, uh, her husband backed the horse off a little bit, tried to keep the horse off him with all that biting and nipping and the horse got very, very, very aggressive and started stamping down with its feet very hard. And if you've seen that, guys, when they really, really come down hard <gasps> and broke his feet, uh, broke his toes on the one foot, uh, broke, broke bones in his feet anyway. So that happened. Some very bad bites as well and other things. So it really, really, really did start to deteriorate. Now, I know at this stage, most people would take advice, which Andrew was given, taking advice that maybe the horse has mentally um, blew up in its mind. I've seen it. Uh, the, 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 the horse should be destroyed. The horse should be euthanized um, for safety of the kids, really. And I can see there's some merit in what people were saying. A very, very famous trainer that she knows, she sent some footage to abroad and he said the same thing, please don't spend time. And I'm about to start work now on the horse. Now I know that I've got to do a lot of firming up, not angry firming up, not, no anger with this horse, oh, you toast. Uh, I know I'm gonna be quite firm with this horse, you'll notice. And in a little while you will see Andrea uh, do a little bit, little bit with the horse and you need to know how Andrea feels about everything, obviously because of the attack uh, and Andrew knows that horses know when you're frightened, okay? When you're scared, the horses usually know it. They can see it in you. They can even hear your heartbeat and stuff like that. I mean, it is deep with a horse. Their senses are that, are that acute. So Andrew's be, now become frightened of being frightened, her own words. Andrew's now frightened of being frightened. Her, how, what a situation that is to be in. So remember that when Andrew does do a little bit in a while. So yeah, let's get going with the video. Again, I have spoke a lot there, but it needed to be said in this situation because of the danger aspect and everything. So here we go, let's get into it. And I will butt in again a couple of times, I have to.
I need him to stop immediately. Right. Beautiful. But he's got to recognise that I saw it. He's got to recognise I saw that. Drop the head. Really good. Really good. Now here, he won't want to stop because he wants to be by. One pace. So I'm going to... I don't release till I get speed in the feet. Okay? Okay. Can we take that one foot back? Two feet. Good man. Okay. No, didn't ask for that. See how I'm tutting for back? Tutting for back, clucking for forward. Tell him how good he is. Can I lower his head down? Have you ever done any of this with him? Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to ask for a little. If they go up there, that plays right into our... You understand what I'm saying? If they go up there, he's going to feel, because he's kind of the leader of all that, like he wants to be there with the new mayor coming, with need to be in here. But that's great. I'll work through that. So it's a sort of thing on your list would be to do this in the stable with him. Find peace together. I don't want it actually right on the floor. All right. Tell him how good he is. He is a switched on horse because he's learning this that quickly. I'm thinking it, not down there. Neck. The longer it takes him to find that option, the better. So tell him how good he is. I'm relieving a little bit of stress from him because he's just had a shock that a human is very particular about his space. So now I want to just get him a little bit there. You see? What do you think so far? Seen a, a change? Okay. So I'm on it. I'm on it like Sonic. He cannot come forward. And right now, I didn't use this at first because I didn't want to frighten him too much. So. Now when I lose his attention, I might lift the flag up and bump his nose a little bit. But a lot of this handling is when a horse looks, looks all over the place, then they just go. You said he dragged your husband all over the place. That's because their attention, their ear goes, their mind goes, their nose goes, then their toes goes. And you see how we're getting this now. But it's important I stop in between each of these. To let him know there's something in it for him. Okay. Brilliant. It's a really good thing to notice, guys. I've got used to noticing it. When a horse feels the need to protect itself and attack, they put the weight on the back end. And you can see here the weight's on the back end. Um, and that's what I've noticed often. They'll weight the back end, lift the front feet a little bit to attack. And look at that. The actual attack here, it's the same thing. See that the legs are coming off the ground. This, this yeah. is exactly what I did think would start to happen. Um, when Once I started to ask for, um, for him to move around me and give me space. So in other words, I'm moving his feet. He doesn't move mine. I kind of expected it. I had to be really careful for, it wasn't too long, but I had to be very assertive with my, with my space. And make and make sure that he realised that I was serious about moving his, um, and he did kick out of me a couple of times, which Tanya did did get on camera. But yeah, things hopefully will start right. to get better. So now. all that's going to do. Okay. What did that do for him? Did nothing for him. All it meant, all that meant, was he got backed up pretty pretty sharpish. Can you go?
Yeah, well, that's why I'm doing this side. Really important that he knows that this has a meaning because this is could save your life. Okay. Really interesting. If you notice there, I shook the flag. Now watch him. He cut. See his head there turn into me right there as I shook the flag. He thought about coming into me, and I kind of recognise that these days quickly. Better. No, it's a change. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm aware. I'm aware where he is. Back, back, back. Yield, yield, yield. His attention's more on me now. <laughs> but he's gone through some emotions there. That was a foot too towards me. That was a foot towards me. So I would again. I'm so patient and methodical with these feet. I don't care if he keeps them forward goes into my favor but he has just gone through some emotions there he said there's no way you are going to get me to go around that side with that flag i'm going to come in did you see him try to come in so he thought about it biting me a couple of times he thought about it okay can you go this way yes you can tell him how good he is no don't worry about those this is your problem you couldn't be a dressage horse if you're having to worry about all of those uh, whinnying. He says, you got me out here in the, in the rain. All right, you see how I'm keeping his attention? Eventually, you just touch that or think it. Okay? Can you go this way? Yes, you can. So I've gone straight in. Stop. That's really good. Can you go this way? Yes, you can. Stop. Back up. No, no, stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. There. Don't come into my space. Stay with me. <clears throat> now, I'm going to levels that I don't usually go to. I, know I must. To try and hopefully save you and him. It may not turn out that that's what happens, but leaving me beautifully. He's leaving. Look. So I'm not going to overdo it. Now, now I'm going to let him know that's good. That's what I've been waiting for. So guys, I was a couple of hours for the first session, so I can't show it all else. It would be ridiculously long the video. So I'm showing you all the bits I think you should, you should see. If you notice, I'm concentrating with me in the right eye and the horse's right eye that's the side that i had the difficulty the aggression the pushing on me was on that right side not too bad going to the left and we worked out between us all that the when the horse attacks or bites more or is pushy more it is when you are on the right eye so it all kind of figures out why all that was happening so yeah that's it that's it find it no different stop can you go you found it switched on there's your breathing hey eh? thank you good boy he'll end up loving me see for, for this this is where it's hard to get your head around it i 
I'm leading him. Now I want that. Yes. That's quite big, this is for him. Yeah, can he go? There's driving, there's leading, there's driving, leading. Driving, leading. Driving. You see how that's working? Don't. Now he's going to experiment here and come up on me a little bit. So, Tell him how good he is. Leading. Good boy. That's a nice look. Can you see that lowering of the head? That's another sign of let's negotiate. Let's, yeah. I'm kind of feeling you, mate, he's thinking now, because it's a little bit of a submissive thing, that is. Uh, can you trot out? Boy, nice look. Lovely look. Drive it, a lead in. No. Lovely. Lead in. Lead in. Leading to driving. Better, better, better. Now I'm going to let him know about that. Let him know about that. Little break there. Stay with me. Unrequested forward motion. How much is the sense is this making? Seriously. Can you feel it? Uh. That that that's good. So we'll go go for this, uh, yeah. Just um, just be cool around him, you know. Um, he picks that up quick. These well-bred horses like this, it's like the really well-bred quarter horses, don't take long to train something in. But also, it doesn't take take long to to train something bad in. See. Because he doesn't has no idea what's right or wrong. He has no no clue. It's only what feels best to him. They don't know what's right. They don't know what's wrong. It's just the easiest path and the most safest path for them in their mind is what's right. You know, nice look. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Uh, good. Yeah, he does look exhausted. But a lot of that's meant a lot of, he's only done about ten circles. That's a lot of that's a mental men, men, mental he can't, he can't get this. Having to move his where I'm asking him to. Drive into leading. That's a big thing, that driving to leading. <clears throat> because they're following, but to be driven by a human being, you know. Uh because what I'm doing is taking space behind him. 
yeah, well, I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. I'm doing whatever it takes. Uh, now, can, can he go? Yes. You see? Really nice. Really nice. Now, I'm going to take him down the bottom now. Have you ever took him down there? Never. Do you think if you had done, he would have performed a little bit away from the others? Yeah. Well, let's see how we get on. So I'm about to take him down to the bottom end of the arena. He hadn't been in the arena for a long time. The reason Andrew wouldn't take him in because he just blows up, pulls away, kicks out. Just goes very, very difficult. So just the fact that I'm going to take him to the far end of the arena is big for Andrew. Um, it didn't feel like it was going to be anything to me. Uh, to see what you think now. Good boy. Any better than you thought? Any better than you thought? Honestly. Because I've got the mic on, you wouldn't have heard what Andrea said then. She was absolutely godsmack that I'd gone up the other end of the arena and everything. You know, it wasn't too, too, too much, no, no problem, was it? So that's a really good sign that with me getting to his feet, you know, getting control of space a little bit, and being persistent, so there's nothing in it for him to be difficult. Uh, still didn't feel 100% safe at all, but it was a hell of a change, in my opinion, and, and Andrew thought the same thing. That's what I've had to fight to get from him. Right, that's the first hindquarter ask. This is another biggie for him. Stop. Tell him how good he is. Don't let his front come. Can you take your hindquarters? Yep. You see how when he gives it, I let him know about that. Let him know about that. Good. So. Can I, can, will he drive there? Will he take his hind end? Can you take that that way? Yes. Hind end. Yes. It's coming. Go this way. Yes. Good man. Good man. That's it. Come on. Oh, Neely. Mm, Neely. But that's pressure. You're nearly there. Hind quarters in. Hind quarters in. Good man. Oh, pressure. Pressure. On. Over there. Over there. That's a good place. That's really snuggled up. You see how this is building? Guys, this isn't just about getting on, on him. 
This is me moving his feet and him not moving mine, which is what he always can do. Uh, so it's a real opportunity to do some siding up. Not that I know that he needs it or not. It's the fact that I am controlling his feet um, and standing still. And he, he's doing really well now, I think. This hindquarters, not down. Things often get worse before they get better. We, um, he's just gone through something there, hasn't he? Come on. That's nice, mate. Hind quarters in, hind quarters in, hind quarters in. Yes. Yes. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. Hmm? He's very quickly become not bothered about a flag. I mean, he's a very, very confident horse because he's almost like, well, I've worked that out now. <sighs> you got to... Go to another let. I mean, air to hair, skin to bone. It's you will not hurt him. You can't hurt this horse as long as you don't hit him in the eyes. Right, you might need one of these for his chest. Stop. So you would wave it a couple of times, or right, and then when his feet, he's not even bothered about that really that much. I'm trying to get a cue for you so you've got something with it. There. See how he went? Uh, no, he keep. He keep he all right, tell him how good he is. So, you know, you've got to watch his expression without looking into his eyes. You've got to kind of get, you know, if you, I, you know, when you look into it, it's like uh, it don't work very well because then they can really get challenging. All right, so I'm getting him to yield better than he was. He's a different look about him, without a doubt. Yeah. Can he go that way? Yes. Okay. That was not too bad. Can he go that way? Go that way. Boy. Not bad. So I'm lowering everything now. Just like... Can you go that way? Boy. Not too close. You see how he's giving me space now. That's good. Good. I like this. To the stable. All right. Good boy. Boy. This is the spot now. There. You see it? Did you see that? The same clip slow down watch his right shoulder move out then his left shoulder moves out or away from me to give me space he that was his idea to do that and that's what i was looking for that or important space stop tell him how good he is so i think for session one we'll do another session in a bit i think might take for one more walk down the bottom and then we'll put him just let him in with them, yeah? Okay, that right, boy. That's it. Not bad, really. So we'll let him come out here now okay no 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 good boy uh, uh. yeah yeah boy all right you see i'm controlling his feet here okay Okay, now I'm going to... You all right? Yep. I'm going to take that off. <laughs> right, I'm going to come in here. 
there's a replay of that guys that that to me felt okay. awesome no, no, I was no, feeling no. much more confident safer oh boy. he knew that <laughs> he was starting to respect me he yeah. knew I, there was a leader i was a leader to him i controlled his boy. feet i controlled the space and he was safe i was now his parent Right, you see, I'm I've controlling become a this parent to him, okay. which really deep down, that's all okay, he, no, he, he all right? needs. That's all he wants that is for that. Um, and so I was nice. feeling oh, really, really good at this point, I must it? admit. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Won't we? We'll see. Let's get in then a minute. So, guys, this is during the intermission because we had a break right there and then. Uh, Tanya's asked me, rather than uh, having lots of messages, um, about the flags there, about the flags and the equipment, they're on Shopify. Uh, here's the flags that we use, the telescopic ones. That's those, they're on Shopify. We have these cut to the exact um, size that I think is best. Um, so that's, the, the flags are on there. There's also really important, our uh, ties, the, 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 the ties, the safety ties. Uh, there's several colors. Um, they are awesome guys and Tanya has said uh, for every two ties they, they, I mean they, they, they save horses guys they're, 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 the design is fantastic so Tanya just told me uh, as a special offer for the safety ties for every two if you have two ties uh, it's like getting one free really because uh, you don't have to add it to your basket you get a brand new um, rope hole to send out um, they're, they're one size they're really good good ones guys uh so i think that's it so that's the flag and the safety ties my favorite things really and of course you've got our special ropes as well which are cut to up the length i like with the splices in the end no no clips to hit under so yeah okay guys i just needed to fit that in for tanya at about an hour's break guys and this is exactly where i picked up again start another session um, it stopped raining because it suddenly started raining that's why we, we packed up uh, but he was ready for a break anyway. Good. Good boy. That's not bad. Oh, I like that after that break. Yes, nice then. really good with that so you can do it you know it's a real nice thing to have he's feeling better with his head down yeah Boom. you're noticing yeah. how yeah. loose he's gone yeah he's finding that like you see then wide-eyed um, do you know why they lift their heads up alert when they are alert. Well, yeah but do you know why they do that when they look in the distance because their eyes don't focus like ours yeah bottom of their eyes for long side. Ah, so they look to that. Yeah. And they do that, yeah. lift up, and it's sort of see. the bottom of their eye. Sees longer. Um, yeah. You see how he's really, like, I'm only thinking this now. Yeah. You know, look at this. Yeah. <laughs>
Mermaid. He's not the killer we're thinking, is he? Not at all. Not at all. Um, He's the other bit that I said was there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's him. You knew it was in and there. And to bring it out, it's a level of parentage yeah. and their natural... My space, your space. Yeah. And yeah. move the feet. We move their feet. They don't move out. Yeah. Now, you've got to remember some art. Because I'm only here for limited time, yeah. I'm going way quicker than I would at home. No, I know, yeah. I would have virtually just got one little thing and done till tomorrow, you know okay, that? Okay, right. Yeah, oh, look, I've gone, but I've had to. I can't just do a bit and say, okay, bye. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out here what, you know, where the holes are, what you've got to look for. It's a lovely look at the moment. Yeah. It's a lovely look. So when it's me and him, I should only do a little bit? Um, well, yeah, but the main thing you've got to do in a minute is just get your space. Yeah, yeah. Because if he thinks he can just threaten you and... That's Friday in the stable, I mean. Yeah. Uh, right, so I'm going to put the lunch line on now and see whether we can get... I kind of expect him on that side to kind of kick the foot up, but I'm going to try and work through it. Then he'll lunge around for me, you know. Um, because it'd be nice for you with the fitness regime yeah. to be able to, to do that, wouldn't it? Very much so. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got these... So now I just want him back a bit. So I'm just gonna wait for him to decide to stop it himself, right? Yeah. But remember, you can always go that step further. Contact. And yeah, I mean, look, it's boinger. It's, yeah. it's 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 gonna he's gonna know it's tapped him. Yeah. But if he's ignoring that and he's coming to you, just look at them feet and you just tap him as hard as you need to, to get him back. Yeah. Right. So I'm looking at that foot now. So I'm gonna give him a chance. Give him a. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And again, so now I'm going to tap, now I'm going to come up to a level that I need to to get a change in the feet. There, do you see the change in the feet? Very much so. Yes. yes. And then tell him how good he is. Yeah? I've got a horsemanship string, which, these are fantastic they are, they've got a special splice in the end. Yeah. So we can fit them on, on the, like a lun lunging tool. Yeah. Or uh, we can put them around the necks of yeah. horses. We can catch horses with them and then lead them in. Yeah. I can ride with them around the neck. Yeah. Just so many things. And for picking feet up. I don't know if you've ever seen. Well, if a horse won't pick his feet up, we put this around the fetlock. And pick it up. Yeah. yeah. Around the fetlock. And I just hold until they take the weight off yeah. the foot you want. Yeah. And keep releasing. Yeah. And eventually you can pick it up with this rather than get kicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're a really handy tool to have. And with our boing in sticks, you just put it through like that. So that is now yeah. my lunging with. <laughs> he looks over to us. So, can you see me? Look what I'm doing. He's looking to the outside, but yeah. for his first lunging, how long? Oh, a month. Months. About 10 months. So I'm only clocking and pressurising when he does go. <laughs> Good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close him up. Okay. Because the only place he can go, oh, you see, he's Good. Yeah. I would say that was good. Felt good. Tell him how good he is. See if he'll lower his head a little bit. Mate! Mate! <laughs> Mate! Good. Mate! Okay. <laughs> Lose a little bit of try. Beautiful. I've just gone quiet here. That's. You see how I drop the rope as soon as he. Tell him how good he is.
No, I'm just mesmerised, to be honest. Everyone would want him now. <laughs> what did he say? Everyone would want him now. <laughs> um, no, look, I've just been through a lot with him. Yeah. You know, uh... When we go to a demo, we got pulled over. I went, it's OK, I'm still filming. And they all start laughing. Yeah, there you go. Great. That is exactly what he does. There you go. Oops. Hey, I got that. I'm still filming! <laughs> Am I terrible? Okay, so you're yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. So, watch what I'm doing now. I'm fine. He's, he's, he's coming, isn't he, look? Right? He's coming now. You see? Yeah. And then, and then say, that's it. If he encroaches, that's great. Because what he does, it gives you a chance to practice backing up. The more he yields to you, the less is going to come on you and hurt you, right? You know, so important. About to see whether she can get some sort of space going. You know, it is the hardest part of all of this because of the history that the horse has got with Andrea and how things have kind of turned out between them. So it was difficult. She was, <laughs> her heart was going, bless her. But, uh, yeah, um, remember what, her, what she'd said earlier. She's frightened of being frightened. So... Fair play to her to, to, to have a go at this now, especially in the big arena as well. to empower you a little bit. Stop, that's fine. Hand, get his attention, yeah. Good, you can look at his face, but not his eyes. You can see the peripheral. Get his attention on you, yeah, smile. Look at his face a little bit when you do that, but not his eyes, yeah. That's good, right. waiting for the pat isn't he on his head to say I did good uh, we'll, we'll do it in a bit we'll take him to stable we'll leave him for a bit from because all this soaking in is where he learns right all the soaking yeah. so we'll leave him for a bit yeah. and we'll take him in the stable yeah. and see what we can do in there see how we can make him feel in there I'd, I'd, I'd uh, I can't even I can't even describe to you how good I felt. She she did so well. She kept focused, smile on her face as much as she could. The nerves seemed to just leave her. We we ended there on a great note. Oh, and Andrew was so happy. Uh, but there is more work to do because of the remember in the stable is where the attack happened and where he, he's most okay, at his, so that's, his um, that's most aggressive. Well, I think today had some real breakthroughs, uh, and I, I'm just gonna go in and feed him now. And again, yield, yield, yield. 
So he's he's pushing on the door, Peter. He's pushing on the door. So I'm going to wave this, and I've asked him to move back. He's thinking forward. So I look at that. Look at that yield. Now wait. Now that's respectful. Now we can have it. You see what I've just done? Don't waste that. Don't just put it down and be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till he. Use. That will carry over okay. so much. So is, it, is this the door do, where he? Yeah. So around this door area, because he won't forget what happened here. Yeah. Right, around this door area, did you see what I just done? I asked like this, got yeah. big, yeah. and then I tapped this until I had a change in his feet. Then I went in and I looked at his feet. He's getting that. Did you just see that? He's just, and he'll respect for that. So, yeah, okay, yeah. So, wow, what a visit, guys. What a visit that was. Again, one of those you don't forget uh, too readily. Um, I We had a beautiful night, lovely meal, a few wines, uh, real, real good night. And then Andrea came to the demo because the very next day, that was the Thursday, the next day we went to Crop Top, get everything arranged and ready for the, the big demo we did. And that was on the Saturday. Uh, I had six horses there, four I'd never done anything with before. Re uh, they're all, all those sessions are on the subscription channel. Uh, but I'll show you a couple of clips of, of those those four, just little clips. By um, one of my team, actually. It's over and you can see, but here, all this was a horse that bolts, but just bolts and can't stop it. So that was an interesting one. And getting the horse used to the clapping was one thing we did because that that's when it tends to bolt and got a foundation started in there for the all important one rain stop we did it walk trot and this was the first try at canter um which in all fairness this, this young girl she really picked this up really well it's brilliant really and this little pony here was absolutely petrified of poles they know it. I think it had a, a jumping accident and you couldn't get it near them. And we worked on that, guys, and that turned out really good as well. And this is the little girl uh, going over poles for the first time in ages. Bend. That's well, well known. This one, our, um, Croft, is a well known uh, where all these uh, Shetland about 80 horses that there. Best indeed caps everybody that hates men. That was a great one. Yeah, Andrew really enjoyed that day. It gave us some more little ideas. So, demo was finished. We had a night in a local hotel and then all went back then and god we were tired guys we went up on the thursday got back on the sunday evening uh, a lot of work uh, it all went well though hopefully we helped some people out and people enjoyed the demo a really great turnout up there so final final thoughts um i i we've had a message back uh, saying that she um andrea's done a few sessions with the horse things are on on the right in the right direction i don't know what everyone who anyone who's watching this thinks if i've tried to explain to andrea if things deteriorate uh, and they can uh, then i think uh, one maybe talk to her friends deeply about it if she wants to ring me we can have a chat about it if things got worse my suggestion would be one of two things one uh, find someone I don't know, someone with my kind of experience, it's a very well-bred horse, uh, maybe someone would be interested in taking the horse on, uh, maybe that, or uh, is there a case for euthanization? I think if the horse attacks her again, attacks one of the children, then I think there is a case for that. That's one to be discussed and argue. Yeah, people could argue all, all, all for hours about it, but they, that's, that's my final thoughts on it. Hope she does okay, I did my absolute best. And that's it, guys. So until the next video, um, happy trails again. And if you can, like, share, comment. We do read the comments, guys. That will help us keep plodding on. And uh, until the next time, and again, happy trails, guys. See ya.